Welcome to part three of painting a person in watercolor. We're using a wet into dry technique and a backwash technique to do the eyes and lips today. So I've zoomed into the eye so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to just use a wet into dry technique to paint the iris, uh, which is the color part of the eye, green. And I just want a nice even coat. And I'll let that dry. And then I'll paint a, another wash into the outer part of the iris of the same color and just to give it some variety of tone. Now once I've got that done, I'm going to use uh, black watercolor paint to darken the pupil and the eyelashes just so that I get those to uh, pop out again. And I'll actually mix this black with a little bit of the green that I used in the iris to put those streaks into the iris that you see in people's eyes and uh, almost dry brushing that into into those uh, into the iris and that's pretty much the eye done then on to the lips which is going to be the same idea as the eye i'm going to use a wet into dry technique first uh, using red and i'll paint the top lip um, first just getting a nice even coat and then of course i'll flip around my paper so i can do the bottom lip and get a nice uh, straight line for the bottom lip um, don't be afraid to move your paper out. And I'm going to use uh, the same color to bring some more tone in into the lips. Uh, I'll let it just dry for a quick second here. And then uh, starting near the mouth opening and I'm darkening that up with the same color. And then I'm bringing some of those lines in the lips that you see with, uh, with the same red. It just makes it darker, like layers. And once I've got that done, I'm going to uh, even darken the mouth opening more with black watercolor paint. If I make a mistake, I can use my towel to pick it up a little bit, and I'll just darken that up with uh, watercolor paint. Now I'm going to backwash for the highlight. The backwash is to use water to pull off some of the red paint with a towel. And I'll do this a, fine, a few times to get the shine into the lips. Um, sometimes instead of water you can actually use bleach uh, to pull off more color. So I'll just do that over and over again until I get that shine in the lips. And that's how the lips will look. So stay tuned for the next video on doing the material in the hat using a variety of techniques.